people would ask, well, can we combine hyperbarics and ozone? The short answer is sometimes yes and sometimes no, in that hyperbaric is delivering predominantly O2, which is gonna have a higher level of mitochondrial stimulation, energy production, as well as all that tissue repair and regeneration and inflammation control. But at the same time, there is some increase in reactive oxygen species being released from the mitochondria. And then here with ozone, we have a tool that's literally predominantly oxidative stress. And so depending on how healthy and resilient a person is, doing hyperbaric and ozone simultaneously or within the same day could be too much oxidative stress for that person. Other people may be able to tolerate that well. We have to use our clinical judgment to understand how much hyperbaric we're exposing somebody to, how much ozone we're exposing a person to, and then combine that with our understanding of how resilient the person that we're doing this with is and make a clinical call whether that's appropriate or not. In many cases, we separate them. We do hyperbaric for a period of time, and then ozone for a period of time. If somebody needs more healing and regeneration and or improved energy production, we tend to lean on hyperbarics more. If somebody needs more immune support and infection control, we tend to lean on ozone more in those cases.